All right, and with us right now, we got Jane Westman. Jane, you are the head, you're the founder of Jane Westman Public Relations. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, you're, Josh. You're bet, you bet. So your website is westmanpr.com. And what Westman PR uh, or Jane Westman Public Relations is known for uh, is you've done PR for some pretty popular books. I, yes, thank you. I have, but I, I've been in business a long time, and we've been very lucky. Um, we, although we handle all types of books, which, which would be you know fiction as well as nonfiction, we tend to have a niche with business books, yeah. and therefore I've worked with some of the uh, world's top thought leaders in in business, whether it's Peter Drucker, who's the father of modern management thinking, or um, uh, Charles Schwab of uh, the investment firm, or um, you know Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and many many other uh, top thought thought leaders like that have been our clients. That's amazing. So how did you get your? I mean, we'll, we'll kind of start off, and then of course we'll get into how did you have the opportunity to work with such big names. Um, so I guess again your background, like how you found yourself in this world. How did you get into book publishing PR? Uh, when I when I left after I graduated from college, I moved to New York and I wanted to be in advertising. And um, at at that time, it it was actually almost like um, it was tough. It was tough for a woman to get a big break in advertising. Um, mm -hmm. But I started working at an, a magazine about the advertising industry, and oh, across my desk came a book written by a woman who did. Uh, book publicity, and she was one of the kind of originators of, of the whole concept of, of uh, making authors famous by, by having them interviewed on television and radio and really uh, planning strategic campaigns. So I thought that was really cool, and I decided to do an, what we call an informational interview with her, mm -hmm. and I, I managed to get in to see her, and she hired me to be her assistant. So. I moved from wanting to be in advertising into book marketing. Mm -hmm. It turned out I had a, a talent for it. I worked my way you know, up the, the corporate um, hierarchy. I, I uh, left a, as a publicity director at a major art book publishing company, uh -huh. and then I launched my own business. And um, so, launching your own business, what was involved in that launch? Like, did you already have like a, a really big book of business? So you just kind of naturally eased into it? Or did you find yourself in kind of a, uh, in any way, kind of a scrappy, like, okay, now I got to really drum up my own business here. You got it. That was it. The latter, <laughs> the last <laughs> thing. Um, I was very scrappy. So I, I had a couple of months transition uh, from the time, uh, I, I gave my notice that I was leaving publishing. And that was actually because I hit the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. There was just no place for me to go. Yeah. Um, and so what I did was I started letting people know that I was opening up the doors of a PR agency and mm -hmm. I lined up business. So I had clients the first day I started my company. Now, it wasn't a lot of money, but the way I, I structured my business, and I advise most people to do this if they're in a service business, was I got my first month's fee. I, I bill on a monthly basis. So the, anybody who wanted to work with me paid the first month's fee at the beginning of the month. Therefore, mm -hmm. I could pay my landlord. And I was able you know, to hire wow. an assistant and, and that was always the way I funded my business was by getting clients, um, signing contracts with them on a monthly basis and always getting paid at the beginning of every 30 days. Yeah. So um, in the world of, of book publishing and, and book publishing PR, um, you know, if, if a book uh, goes to press and, and, and is it, you know, and they don't have like a PR plan, um, and 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 that that's obviously going to uh, you know probably likely lead to uh, a lackluster launch and and a lackluster uh, you know getting on you're not going to be able to get on the bestseller list that sort of thing. Um, so why? And and I almost hate to ask this question because it's such a it seems silly to ask this, but 
why is PR so vital? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, did you know that there are close to a million books a year being published now? And that's because of technology. Almost anybody can publish a book. And so funny thing is when I started in the industry, maybe there were 10 or 12,000 books being published in a year, and then 30,000, 40,000, whatever. But up until about 15 years ago, if you wanted to publish a book, you you had to go through a book publisher, um, unless you were going to do maybe a very small little print run of a personal book for your family. Yeah. So there's so much competition out there that if you don't have a strategy of how you're going to get the word out about your book, nobody's going to know it exists. Yeah. And and most authors who come to me to publicize their books don't have a strategy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think they believe if the book is listed uh, on Amazon or other online booksellers, that that's enough and that somehow people will find their book, but the, it's just not going to happen. So someone comes to you and they say, Jane, I want to be famous. I want people to know about my book. Uh, how do you begin to map out that strategy? Okay. Well, in the initial call I, I have with a client who comes to me, I, I try to understand what that client's particular goals are. And, um, and, and I ask myself whether or not the client and I are aligned on being able to reach those goals. But, but underneath it all, I'm, I'm looking at three things. I'm asking myself and I ask the client, who are you? What, what's your expertise? Um, what, why are you the person to write this book? So if it's a business book, you know, are you the CEO of a very successful company? Are you a consultant? Um, are, have you done a lot of research on this topic? Let's say it's leadership or corporate culture or sales. You know, what is it about your experience that makes you the author that, that people want to learn from? So one, who is the author? Two, what is the big theme in this book? What makes this book special? What, what's the takeaway? What is this book really about that differentiates it from other books? Mm-hmm. Was there a lot of research going into this book? Did the author interview, let's say, key athletes to learn their secrets to mental toughness? What is it that's really special about the book? So it's the author, it's the content. Then how does this book solve today's problems? Mm -hmm. People are concerned about um, uh, their jobs. People are concerned about their health, wellness, taking care of their families. How, uh, How does this book help people solve a problem that they they have. How does it fix a pain point? That's what I'm looking at, those three things. So that's where I begin when I start thinking about designing a book marketing strategy. Yeah. Okay. So let's say that you've gotten that information. I think a lot of people, it's really interesting, and maybe this is your observation too, a lot of people kind of want to rush over that step. They're just like, I don't know, Jane, just introduce me to people and and get me on stages and get me on the Today Show and Good Morning America. And, and I want Oprah talking about me and I want to be on Oprah's book list. So make your magic happen. Go, go, go. <laughs> so boom, boom, boom. Bye, bye, bye. Right. <laughs> so no, I, and I really appreciate, and, and, and before we, we talk about kind of like, you know, things that are a little bit more actual, but beyond that, why is what you shared so critical? Why can't you just just send a press release out and expect all of your wildest dreams to come true. <laughs> right. So, um, so, so it's, it's not unusual for someone to say to me, I want to be on Oprah's show or good morning America. Yeah. And what I, what I do when I have that conversation, if the person is not, for example, Michelle Obama or someone who already is known globally, or right. at least in the United States, I, I, Try to ask questions to see what, 
what strategy really would work? Is this a, is this person a business consultant who is, who's trying to grow their business? Uh, let's say it's about um, uh, corporate health, creating wellness programs within a, a company. So how, how can this book be used to market the person's services? And, and what media do we need to get so that CEOs of companies will know mm -hmm. about the book? So that people in the training or HR departments of large companies who want to develop wellness programs will know about the book. So what I try to do is, is show that if there are hundreds of thousands of books being published and everybody wants to be on Oprah, the odds of being on Oprah are pretty small, mm -hmm. but the odds of getting media coverage where you really belong are, are good. And, and so I try to have that conversation and see if, if, if the author and I can align on a more realistic, doable, cost-effective program. And then if we can, I can move forward. Yeah. And so uh, if someone says, okay, great, um, you know, I would like to be featured in something that's a little bit more business oriented in front of their target dream ideal client. Um, is it, Jane, that you've got the relationships or what is the advantage to, you know, aside from the strategy, which, you know, we've kind of covered and incredibly valuable. And I think the strategy is so much more important, in my opinion, when you're working with someone who's experienced in public relations, because if you don't have that advice, you don't have that coaching, that consulting, you know, that, that, that strategy, um, I, I just, my own experience, I see you, I see people wasting a lot of time chasing the wrong dog, uh, especially when the, the author or the client has big dealitis. And they think that they are a Michelle Obama, Obama and you have to tell them and say, I'm sorry, you know, I know in your world, you're a big deal. But again, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, we, uh, and it's tough, right? When, especially I think when someone puts their, they put their heart and soul into producing a book for a year, um, it's really difficult to have a clarity. I'd say is is the best way. You're you're you you're too in it. You, that's why we we have to hire great public relations consultants to kind of help us formulate a very realistic plan that will help us accomplish the goals. Um, it gets back to the competition. You're competing against tens of thousands of other people who are trying to be noticed by um, if it's business Forbes. Forbes, Fortune, The Wall Street Journal, um, Fast Company. Uh, you know, if it's a different topic, whether it's, uh, let's say it's yoga, yoga journal, or if you're, if the uh, topic is on parenting, the parenting magazine, or Good Morning America, you're still competing against a lot of of people. And so how we position the book. So in addition to the word strategy, we use the word positioning. So how we position the book, what we say about the book to the media in uh, when we contact them, and it's almost always now by email, is, is really, really important. And so what we do is, is, is figure out the positioning that will get the media's attention. And because every day we're, we are dealing with dozens and dozens of media people, mm -hmm. um, they, first of all, they look at our emails, they pay attention to us and they communicate with us. But if we don't position the book properly, they don't respond. And so I have plenty of examples of books uh, that, that I work on where it takes us a month or, or even longer to figure out the right positioning. Um, a, good, a good example is a book where we happen to be handling a book that deals with mental toughness just in life. Everything about you know the advantages of being mentally tough and how that helps you as a leader or helps you um, as an athlete. But it wasn't until we positioned it as mentally tough in the workplace. Once we were able to get it down into, this is going to help you in your career, 
Yeah. This is going to help you at work. Did we did we really start getting strong media attention? And so it took us a while of of different pitches until we found a solution to get the the high level media attention that we were looking for. Yeah. Well, Jane Westman, your website is Westman pr.com. You also are an author yourself. Dive right in. The sharks won't bite. Uh, and, and Jane, anything else you'd recommend people uh, in terms of like, if they're like, oh my gosh, I need Jane's help. Where do they go? What should they do? <laughs> okay. Well, you can look at my website. I've also got a new YouTube channel called Book Marketing Pro on YouTube. And I talk about marketing, positioning, strategy. I give advice to authors. Um, so take a look at, at what I have to say there. There, You'll also find articles that we've written about book marketing on my website. I also write uh, for entrepreneur.com if you want some advice about launching a business. Fantastic. I'm looking at your I am your newest subscriber to your YouTube channel. You've got, uh, <laughs> Jane, you're you're a legend in the book PR space, and you've worked with some of the biggest names in, in business publishing. So, Jane, it's been an honor to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Josh. It was really a pleasure. <laughs>